Your kid spills their drink for the third time today. Your partner makes that comment. And before you can even think, you've snapped. Your voice is sharp, your words are harsh. And five seconds later, you're standing there thinking, why did I just do that? Does that sound a bit familiar? Well, here's the thing. You're not a bad person. You're just human. And your brain is working exactly the way it's designed to. When something triggers you, that information hits your brain and splits into two paths. There's the low road, which is a lightning fast route straight to your amygdala. That's your brain's emotional alarm system. Its only job is to ask, is this a threat? And it doesn't think, it just reacts. Then there's the high road, a slower path to your prefrontal cortex, the part of your brain that can actually think things through. The problem is that when the emotional alarm starts ringing, it's so loud that it drowns out your rational brain completely. This is what psychologist Daniel Goleman calls an amygdala hijack, and it's why telling yourself to just stay calm doesn't work. You're literally not in your right mind. So here's where the shift can happen. You can't stop the trigger, but you can create a tiny space between the trigger and your reaction. And in that space, you can get your power back. It's called the three second pause, and it's got three parts. One, breathe. Take two quick breaths in through your nose and one long breath out through your mouth. This signals your nervous system that you're safe. Two, name it. Silently label the feeling in one word, like anger or frustration. Research shows that just naming an emotion reduces amygdala activity and brings your thinking brain back online. Three, choose your response. Instead of your automatic reaction, use a pre-planned phrase, something like, I need a minute before I respond, or let's talk about this when we're both calm. That's it, three seconds and it can change everything. I'm Michael and I run Step Change Living. If you found this helpful, follow me because I share more tools like this frequently.